it's like we look at friendships as something that comes and goes easily. But a true friend, a biblical friend that we see in Scripture should be something that we hold on to tight. Two are better than one because they have a good return for the labor. So therefore, it's foolish to go at it alone, isn't it? We know that Satan loves to isolate us. And, and you know, maybe our work schedule changes and, and we can't make small group or uh, life changes or children change things and we get isolated. Next thing you know, we start getting in our heads and we start gathering counsel from the world. But scripturally speaking, we're able to pull so much more fruit. We're able to be stronger when we're together here. It is dangerous for you to be alone in your walk with God. It's dangerous and not healthy. I'm an introvert. Okay, just sit and be quiet and have a cup of coffee together. Like the scripture doesn't give introverts a way out of friendship. I don't like people. Then stop sinning. The Trinity is unity. The Trinity is God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit from eternity past to eternity future and perfect community. You were created for friendship. You were created for community. And any excuse you make, whether personality or time or anything, is actually you cutting the very thing that God created. We can make the excuses of, I've been hurt in friendships before. Guess what? That's part of forgiveness. It's part of the message of the cross of Jesus Christ. It's the beauty of the filling of the Holy Spirit, of entrusting yourself again to the will of the Lord. But pity anyone who falls and has no one to help them up. Also, if two lie down together, they will keep warm. But how can one keep warm, uh, keep warm alone? I wonder why we grow cold in our walk with the Lord. We're not open to challenge. We're not open to accountability. We're not open to encouragement. 